Now then, people, it's Joe, it's All Leeds TV, and it is time for your Wigan versus Leeds preview. Just before we get into that, I just want to cover a few things off. As you'll have heard on Connor's preview, uh, we have set up a PayPal donate, okay? A few years have already donated, so thank you ever so much for them that have. Look, we're not asking for you to pay for anything specific. All we're saying is, if you want to help the channel, take it to that next level, then please do donate. Look, you don't have to. You know, it's not a necessity, but it's just going to help us with better content. We've got some lovely exclusive interviews lined up. We want to be able to give you them in the best quality as possible. Better lighting, better cameras, all that sort of jazz. Look, you don't have to, don't feel like you have to, but if you want to help the channel grow, if it's as much as a penny, it doesn't matter. Please do so. The link is in the description now. Also, guys, there will also be another link in there. We are linking up with the Retro Hut. The Retro Hut offers you kit mugs, pillows, t-shirts, everything you would want as an avid Leeds United fan. And the one thing that's even better, it's run by a Leeds United fan. So if there's anything specific you would like to see on there, put it in the comments. Because, of course, he's going to want to make that. The link is in the description. Please follow it. Please check out their stuff. And please keep your eyes peeled. There may be some specific All Leeds TV merch coming very soon in partnership with the Retro Hut. Check them out, guys. The link is in the description. I want to say a massive thank you as well to everyone who has sponsored me during Red January. Red January was run every day in January in aid of Mind Charity Look. We've raised over £1,200, absolutely amazing. I myself have run 100 miles throughout the month of January. My knee's in bits, my body looks sick, <laughs> but my mind's much better for it as well. So thank you everyone who got involved. You don't know what that means to me, to the guys that did it, and of course to Mind Charity. We've raised over £1,200. The link to that will also be in the description if you want to give us that little bit more uh, and help such a great charity like Mind Myself and Connor will also be taking part in Mind United, I think Talking Shop might be, and many others as well. Um, that's going to be the Yorkshire Free Peaks taking part in July. You can also get involved in that, it's all over social media, check that out. And of course, before we get into the video, I know I've rambled on a little bit there, please make sure you like, please make sure you share, comment and subscribe. Woo! We're done. <laughs> so then, Wigan at home. It's a big one. It's time to exercise them demons. You know, we've been here. I remember this time last year, I got absolutely battered for it from mates. I was saying, Leeds are top of the home form table. Wigan are bottom of the away form table. All I can see is a Leeds United win. And what happened? We lost. Of course, it derailed us. It really was the point for me where I was like, right. Maybe it isn't quite our time. But, but, it's a chance for us as fans and the team themselves, it's, it's the same core group, to exercise them demons and put Wigan to the sword. Please, look, if we have the same team last time out, it's definitely going to be the same team. The bench is going to be much stronger. Um, but look, if we can play anywhere close to them 45 minutes we did against Millwall in that second half, we'll blow anyone away. We'll blow most teams in the Prem away. Apart from maybe the top six. But we'd give them a good run as we've seen with Arsenal for example. Um, but look we all know last season when it did derail us. We lost 2-1. Um, look it was the first time. Correct me if I'm wrong but I'm almost 99% certain. It was the first time we'd actually gone ahead and lost a game. Yeah it was the first time we'd gone ahead. A Patrick Bamford penalty. I know he scored one, right? Crazy. <laughs> a Patrick Bamford penalty, and we then lose the game. We were top of the home. They were bottom of the away in form table. Look, it for me, it was just one of them freak results. It was a crazy, crazy result. Um, look, I like Wigan. I like Paul Cook. Um, but it's been much of the same for them this season. Look, listen to this for a stat. And this will put the shits up you. This will give you, me many dislikes. You know, I get it. I understand it. But I can only say what I see. Wigan have failed to win 34 of their last 36 away championship matches. Drrr, dislikes have just gone through the roof. <laughs> but it's there for all to see. 34 of their last 36 away championship matches. Of course, Leeds is one of them. <laughs> but still, it's a massive, massive start. Um, I, I, I'm like prepping for this video and thinking I need to rein it in because I'll get loads of shit. 
But I don't care. I am who I am. I'll say what I feel. Um, and it, 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 look, the truth is we'll beat them and we're going to beat them well. That is my thought process ahead of this game. We will beat them, we'll beat them well. You know, I said after Millwall, let's not get ahead of, our, ahead of ourselves. And someone actually commented on the video, this is coming from the guy that said it's our time all last season. And I thought, do you know what, mate? You're right. Why am I saying that? Because I don't believe it. I'll tell you what I do believe is that we are going to beat Wigan on Saturday. They're not good away from home. We are decent at home. You know, the crazy stat to think of this poor run that we've been on. Right? We're undefeated in 10 of our last 11 championship matches at home. That might be draws. But listen, we're undefeated in 10 of our last 11. That's a big stat. And I know you're all watching it thinking, fucking hell, it's the same as last season, this. We're going to lose. But don't let that, don't let that happen, man. I'm telling you, I'm confident with this game. I mean, the fact that Wigan's top scorer is Dunkley, who is a centre-back. Yes, they have some decent talent in there. Kiefer Moore, Jamal Lowe, um, Mulgrew's in there as well. If you remember, he scored them free kicks uh, against us at Blackburn last season. Um... Yeah, like, I get it, I understand it, and I don't want to discredit Wigan, because I, I like them, I like Paul Cook, but listen, they're not doing great, they're in, you know, they're, they're not good away from home, um, you, look, they, they got a decent result last time out against Chef Wednesday, that's not to be sniffed at, but Gary Munt came out after that game and basically said he wanted to bin half of the team off, Chef Wednesday were absolutely poor, um, but look, six wins all season, all season, poor away from home. It has to be a Leeds United win. It has to be. I might be getting ahead of myself, but it has to be. If we want to go up, these are the sort of games where you go, come on, that's three points. But it's the championship. I get that, and that's why I'll get a lot of dislikes, because I understand it, but I can only be me. I can only give you my true feelings and thoughts. We'll be an unchanged side, will be high after that great result against Millwall. We needed it. We needed that. I think the manner in which we won that game as well is even better than going out and winning 3-0, if I'm totally honest. If we'd have gone to Millwall. So I was saying before the game with Connor, with Tash, these signings, Kevin, Ian, will they'll count for nothing if we lose tonight. When we were 2-0 down at half-time, you're thinking, wow, but the fact that we came back in that second half, played as well as we did and scored three goals and won the game and got all three points and went back top of the table... It's an even sweeter, sweeter boost for the lads than just going out and battering them first half and winning 3-0. I know that might sound bad, but for me, mentally, it does so much more the result in which it went. Okay? Bit of a mouthful there. Um, so, yeah, they're absolutely on a high. Same, same line-up. We're going to go out. We're going to get after we... Look, one thing we can't do is start like we did against Millwall. Um, I thought we were okay in the first half, but the first five minutes there was hospital passes happening around at the back. You could see the miss of KP, a little bit of confusion of where White's playing, um, you know, and, and we put, we gave them a corner and of course they scored from the corner. What's Luke Ayling doing? I don't know. We can't defend corners. We're poor at them. One thing you'll say for Wigan, they're very good at them. So we can't allow them to have a lot of the ball that's going to create opportunities for them to get corners. We need to be on our shizzle. If we are on our shizzle, we'll be fine. We'll be fine and we'll win the game and we'll win it well. Unchanged team, of course, but look, you're going to have the likes of Roberts, Shackleton, Perveda, and of course, Mean, Gene, Kevin, Augustine. Um, that there is frightening. If you look back to a couple of weeks ago, um, we had the likes, and I'm not discrediting them, but we had a, a, a bench the age of about 20, average age. Not good enough. We understand that. Um, so now look at it. Totally different complexion. You've got players that are going to be able to come on, impact the game, change the game. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I see a Leeds United win. What say you? Please let me know. Am I going a bit mad? Have I over-egged it? Do you give Wigan a lot more respect than what I have? It's not that I don't respect them. I just can't see past the Leeds United win. Um, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, of course. Smash the donate button if you want. Check Retro Hut out. And of course, please sponsor me for Red January. And that, please, if you can, bring yourself to do it. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Peace out now. I will see you for my post-match when we have put Wigan to the sword. Marching on together. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds.